there, and like we've seen all year, Cornish able to win the ball. And here's Jake Perry with the ball, who finds Chase Humphrey's feet. Frostburg enjoying a little spell of possession here, and it, as I say that, they lose the ball to, uh, to Salisbury. And he finds Chase Humphreys, who has time to look up and picks out Stephen Portman. But he loses out on the ball to Frostburg. Established a dominant possession yet. Salisbury taking their time, just waiting for anything to open up, not really trying to rush down the field. Seems both teams are still trying to figure each other out. A big through very often, if at all. Penalty from here, but it's at the ref's discretion. Yeah, Salisbury with a strong case for a penalty kick field and take another one. Another player down to the grabber sharp trying to chase down. The Bayou Tesfu. Here's Tesfu with the ball, fighting with Stephen Portman. That's He's the result of the down. foul. Here's Stephen Portman, finds low. Chase Humphrey Chase has Humphrey. a lot of Having a little bit of trouble with these passes. A lot of them just off target a little bit. Nice tackle by Stephen Portman to win the ball back for Salisbury. He finds, finds Matt Green's foot. And the ball to Jake Perry. Jake, it's a shot on goal. A long shot. And the follow-up is just barely missed. But Miss Salisbury is creating more chances as this game. Here's Michael Feeney. He finds Stephen Portman. Portman had a lot of room and just able to Here's kind of Michael see Perry getting frustrated that he's being pushed around a little bit, but you know, likely afraid to. Michael Feeney's first to the ball, but the second ball goes to Frostburg and kindly bounces for Salisbury. Frostburg can answer right back and tie this game up here in two minutes. It's going to be harder for Frostburg if they don't get a goal within this two minutes to fill. Some really able to go right back in. And he's moving around like he's fine. Jake Perry finds Stephen Portman, who finds Larry Cornish, and there's space for them. He gets the ball, moves it into the box, has a little bit of room, but it's swarmed on. If they can utilize it. Salisbury had the numbers right there, but maybe taking a little bit too much time. Maybe one extra pass. Corner kick up in the air and immediately turned away. I think that was Logan Becker that got his head on it. There's a bunch of space in the midfield. I don't know if it's because one of the teams are chasing the ball. Frostburg does win that one with in-state rival Frostburg. That's the fifth yellow card we've seen today. Luckily, nobody's gotten a red card. Frostburg do it a few times and get some great chances. There was Jeff Bryans there with the long throw in. And
That was a nice attempt at a link up by RT and Port. Always just missing that one pass, and right there they had a good chance, but the pass just intercepted by the Bobcats. Now Pablo Toronto on the other side, Sever in this game, puts his season total up to four, which leads the team. Salisbury's pressure is almost paying off. It's, it's Frostburg struggles to get the, but the ref says to play on. That was very dangerous. Harry Lucky, he's one of the Salisbury players sitting on a yellow card. The referee's going to let him play on. This benefits Salisbury as they had just created. You've got to expect that almost any goalie wouldn't be able to hang on to it, especially that shot from Humphrey early in the first half. But that one just such a. And again, Salisbury's there for the ball. This could be a breakaway. Portman has Tanner East to his left. Tries to find him, but Phil Nano recovers to capitalize on it. It rolls straight into Drew St Staley's hands. I think that's the first actual save that Staley's had to record today. He's done a lot of work in other ways, though. Portman finds Jake Perry, but it's cut out. So now Frostburg's starting to threaten more and more on offense. We'll see if they can keep it going. That was Chris Herbert with the nice defense. And this is Portman on. Wait to get into the game. Also, Zach Johnson is warming up to get in the game, too. Johnson not seeing any action yet today. If they had scored that penalty, it would be 1-1. If, if Salisbury had capitalized on their, on their chances, it would probably be like 3-1. Toronto didn't know where the ball was. I think he was looking for it when it hit him. If he had seen that and been able to plan for it, I think he would have had a great chance. As that ball rolls back to Mustafa, he'll put it up in the air. Stephen Portman wins that, and there's nobody in the midfield. It's that high in the air at the perfect spot, but statedly just up in the air again to bring the ball down. If ever Salisbury University was looking for Time to move it back. We're down to 10 seconds left now. It looks like Salisbury's this is going to be a defeat. Quickly. And that foul is not going to be called. 